Greetings, Cyberdogs and citizens of the internet! This is Rendog coming at you from just outside the sewer networks of Mole City in this Let's Play Minecraft Survival Series. In the previous episode, we were trying to solve the symmetrical problems we were experiencing while building the Mole City sewerage networks, and guys, one of you gave me an excellent freaking hint in the comment section of the previous video to totally solve our symmetry problem and bam check it out guys this the sewerage network tunnels the main arteries are now three blocks wide in the middle and only two blocks high and that means that the sewerage networks now run perfectly symmetrically with the roads above um, the roads of mole city above and as you can see i actually think that looks better than the previous configuration which was two blocks high by two blocks blocks wide. I think that the slightly wider tunnel is actually way more uh, awesome than the previous configuration and guys I've done quite a lot of work in the sewerage tunnel um, while you guys have been sleeping <laughs> but I want to take you through the sewerage tunnel now we still have a little bit of work to do so without further ado guys let's get back to working on the sewerage tunnel Paloma is not happy man she's been sitting here for many many days protecting us from creepers but you are doing an amazing job Paloma and you are so cute man let me give you a little little scratch there um, you can just carry actually you can come with us come with us man You're, you need to stretch your legs Thanks, man you've been sitting in that same position for hours but guys what I have done as you can see the tunnels are looking awesome and this was a suggestion by another one of you guys or actually quite a few of you to add iron fences into the sewage networks and uh, I've done exactly that and as you can see it's kind of like um, a maintenance entrance uh, hall or whatever uh, that you find in sewers you always find these kind of um, iron fence grates in sewers which is really sweet and right here guys is the intersection so you can see the main roads um, are running in this direction and in this direction. So I've isolated the intersections. And as you can see, we have still quite a lot of work to do on fixing up this intersection to make it look absolutely awesome. But guys, most importantly, I have also added some a new lighting system to the sewer, the sewer networks. And one of you guys gave me such an amazing hint, man. You said, why not use redstone torches to light up the sewerage networks because redstone torches give off a really eerie glow. And that's exactly what I've done. Check it out, guys. I've made these little redstone lamp um, holes all the way along the tunnel and they run along the roof and they are every four blocks from one another. Um, and they run down the, the, the right throughout the sewer tunnel all the way to the end. And as you can see, man, they are freaking sweet. And in this episode, guys, we need to finish them off. And then what I want to do is pick up these torches and actually have a look what the sewage tunnel is going to look like. Hopefully it's going to achieve a really eerie feel to it because that's what we're going for over here. Um, so for now, guys, why don't we start by finishing off all of these redstone... Um, I, I, don't, I don't even know what they're called, man. Redstone lampage posts? <laughs> I'm going to go with redstone lampage posts for these ones. And they're really easy to make, really. It's just a redstone um, torch, one block above a, a block of, of glass. And that creates this really cool um, effect. You know, obviously, if... Oh, God. What, <laughs> first waste of glass for the episode. Um, if there was water flowing through here, you know, these torches are going to be protected by the glass. So it's kind of, you know, it's kind of like a waterproof uh, system, I guess. You know, at, we're, we're always trying to avoid physics fails in this uh, series, aren't we, Paloma? Um, and of course, that would have been one of them, just having sort of redstone torches um, open to the element of water in this in the sewage network. That just that just wouldn't have been able to fly with me, man. So now the redstone torches are protected from the water here in the sewers. And as you can see, they are looking sweet. And I think I've already done these in this tunnel. Yes, I have. So let's head all the way back to... Um, looks like there's one missing over here. So why don't we quickly do this one? I've put Terra back in the mole hole simply because this exercise was absolutely destroying her, man. She, she almost died from doing this. Oh, Paloma, you are Paloma. You see, now this is why I make you sit down, man. Because you are seriously, no you're a seriously naughty cat. I mean, just where I'm trying to dig, you walk your little cute ass right into the place where I'm trying to pickaxe. And I almost pickaxed, pickaxed your ass. Oh, man, let me tell you, man, this kitty is so naughty. But I love her. She's so cute. She's my favorite cat ever. Um, even though she's, she's made out of zeros and ones, I still think she's awesome. If you were real, Paloma, oh, God, I would love you. Um, anyway, 
<laughs> we're, we're entering the realm of creepy right now. So let's let's get back to reality here, people. We are trying to make a redstone lampage uh, cave. <laughs> Man, I don't I don't even know what to call these things, but they are sweet. So there we go. We've got one more in there, and no, we got we got to pick up those. Um, oh god, those bits of cobble. That ain't that, that is just not going to fly. Um, so let's get that redstone torch down. Kaplam! Nice. Okay, so that's looking perfectly symmetrical now. So let's head into this section. Um, this is going to be lit up by this big piece of glowstone, so we don't actually need any redstone lamps in here. But if we go into this tunnel, yeah, I still need to do these. So let's get our redstone torches down. This one still needs to be made. Man, this has been actually so much fun. You know, I thought making the surge networks was going to be like a tedious job, and I kind of wasn't looking forward to it, but... I've actually really enjoyed doing this, believe it or not. Um, you know, like the task of achieving symmetry. Um, I don't know, it's just really satisfying when you actually do it, when you when you pull it off and suddenly you step back and you, and you have a look at your work from a distance and it looks absolutely epic. Oh man, it is a satisfying feeling, man. And that is why I love this freaking game. Oh man, Minecraft, I love you, man. I love you like a limb. <laughs> Um, right, let's get this redstone torchage up in here and let's make sure they're all covered in glass. Okay, so we are basically ready now to test out the atmosphere of the sewers. So why don't we take down all of these torches and now we're going to have a look like a look at what the sewerage network is going to look like uh, for realsies. And I mean, what we still need to do is add a layer of water to the bottom of it. But I mean, uh, it's quite difficult to work in water because you always have to be fighting the flow of water. But uh, let's have a look, guys. And now it's daytime, obviously, so it's going to be a little bit brighter. There's the great bridge over there and the, the strip mine outpost in the distance. But let's have a look. You know, that is looking sufficiently creepy, i got to say. I mean, you know, it's daytime now, right? So obviously it's going to be a little bit brighter than usual. But actually, if you go in here, it does start to feel quite creepy. And look, at it's even spawning freaking skeletons and zombies in the dark areas. Um, you know, I had a long think about this and I thought to myself, you know what, actually, it might be quite cool if, um, look at this, look how creepy this is, man, this is awesome. The only problem now is working down here uh, might spawn creepers and we don't want a creeper to spawn straight behind us. But um, if we just take a one last look at what it's going to look like in here, Paloma's like, don't go down there, dude, it is freaking dangerous. I hear you, kitty. But check it out, that actually looks amazing. This actually looks Oh, I just love the light, the light coming out of the block of a redstone torch. I just think it's so awesome. Look, it adds like a small glow onto the, the cobblestone, and I think that is great. Um, but I'm going to put a torch down here to stop the spawning because we're going to be working down here, and we don't want to have any creeper surprises uh, blowing up all of our hard work. But guys, I was actually thinking about this surge network, and I thought, you know what? It actually might be cool to let zombies and skeletons and creepers spawn down here. Um, you know, it would kind of add a, a nice flavor to the sewers of Mole City, knowing that they are infested with zombies and skeletons. But then I realized, dang, um, it would affect the spawning rate of the butthole. So basically, if I let mobs spawn down here, the, the butthole just wouldn't spawn at all. Um, so that kind of sucks. I don't know what we're going to do about it, though. The redstone torches obviously don't stop the spawning enough. We might have to add another redstone torch somewhere. But now that we know the um, the sewerage network is actually spawning, I just I'm not actually sure if we want to keep it that way. It might be far enough away from the mob spawner to actually not affect it. So we're going to have to run a couple tests to see. But I got to say I really love this place when the lights are down, man. It looks so awesome, and uh, oh man, it is so sweet. But it, what we need to do now, guys, is actually work on the intersection over here. I wanted to finish it off with you guys. I didn't want to do it all, all by myself, man, because it's actually quite sweet. Um, I had to make a new diamond um, spade, <laughs> uh, diamond shovel, sorry, because, man, <laughs> this sewerage network has destroyed our tools, um, as expected. And I, I've made a whole bunch of iron pickaxes, too. Might as well get my armor on, too, while I'm at it. Um, just, in, just in case we get some sort of random spawn down here. Um, you never know, man. This is Minecraft hard mode. You know what I'm saying? We've got to respect the Minecraft gods. They could throw anything at us at any time. And, you know, they can throw creepers. They can throw skeletons. They can throw slimes. Man, they can throw a whole myriad of weapons straight into our bottles that could result in, um, you know, death slash destruction of what we're building on. So, 
Better safe than sorry, Cyberdogs. Always remember that mantra. If you're playing uh, Minecraft hard mode. If you're playing Minecraft peaceful mode, ignore. <laughs> Um, right, so this intersection is coming along rather nicely. What I wanted to do was also build one of these, and the, the, the I, I've I've counted three blocks away from the center of the intersection. One, two, three. So what we need to do is the same here. One, two, three, and then it's going to be over here. Now, unfortunately, I haven't brought along any jungle plankage, so uh, that sucks. There are some jungle trees up around here, though, um, still left over from the Great Burn. Um, of season two, so maybe we'll go to just I mean all we need is a couple a couple blocks of um, Of this jungle wood and that should be enough to generate enough um, Wood to make the what we need to in the sewers. Oh man, that guy got the first shot off man. He actually won that deal But I won the battle you bastard All right, and I know guys we don't have an axe. We're gonna have to do this old-school style We're gonna have to do this noob style wasting our tools breaking wood um, <laughs> wasting our tools like it's season one, episode eight. <laughs> oh man! But the, you know what? I actually never have an axe with me. Um, I think an axe must be one of the most underutilized tools in Minecraft. Like, who actually keeps an axe with them? You know, it feels like a waste of an inventory slot to me, man. Man, that tree is a whole bunch of freaking epic physics fails going on over there, man. Next episode, we're going to take care of that tree before it drives us all crazy. Ow. All right, back to the sewers, guys. Let's work on um, another one of these grids. So what we need to do is turn this jungle wood into plankage. Yeah, 28 plankages. That should be ample, ample amounts of plankage to get this done. So it looks a little something, something like this. And then we build our um, iron bars just like this. And then we complete the, the door structure just like that. So that looks really sweet. Let's just clear away one layer of stuff from behind it so that it doesn't uh, connect to the blocks. So we can get a nice good look at what it's going to look like. Let's have a look. Oh man, looking sweet. And we need to do exactly the same on this side. Kaplam. Kaplooey. And let's finish off this one. Nice. That is looking sweet, if I do say so myself, man. That looks absolutely epic. And uh, guys, you know what we have in our inventory. I'm sure some of you guys spotted this. TNT, baby. TNT. I'm done. Oh, my. TNT. <laughs> oh, man, I love that tune. So, guys, we're actually going to end this episode, I think, with a little bit of TNT action. I don't know what direction to go in. I think I'm going to go in this direction, um, just because... This was the, okay, this, stick with me, man. This is the explanation why I'm going in that direction. This was the first sewer, sewer pipe that we built. And if we head in this direction, we have to turn left to go down this tunnel. And I am left-handed. So that is how my brain came to the conclusion um, to blow up this tunnel and not that one. <laughs> Logical, right? <laughs> I thought so too. Right, guys, let's see. We can make another chain of TNT. Um, okay, well, let's just remember it's actually it can it can actually chain three blocks. So um, Let's dig all, but as long as there isn't a block in between those three blocks, I think Oh, I wanted to show you where this actually takes us and that side also takes us somewhere interesting So check it out guys this tunnel takes us into a giant chavern and if I recall correctly this chavern is underneath oh, Let's see where it comes out oh, Yes, this is one of the original um, shafts that we used to go down. Here we go, check it out, yes. This is one of the, the original shafts that we used to go down in season one to, to, go on, um, to go on adventure. So check it out, man. If you want to get into Mole City via a secret, secret route, you can do so going into this cave and you will find the sewer systems of Mole City are going to be actually sticking out right over here. So that is actually really awesome. Um, <laughs> That's so cool. So one, two, three, bam! One, two, three, bam! One, two, three. And that's enough so we can actually do it on the other side too, which is sweet. So let's take a quick run down this passageway. Uh, I wanted to show you guys where this takes us to. Let's just make sure we have eaten something. Where's Paloma? Let's take her with us, man. Because you never know what could happen around here, man. I smell creepers all over the show. It is night time and... <laughs> 
you know, creepers are nocturnal beasts. They, they sleep in uh, slimy hidey holes and come out at night um, to blow up your ass. But check it out, guys. If we go to the end of this tunnel, this brings us also into another chavern that I do believe we have explored. Um, maybe not fully, but if we go down this way, look, it does look like there's torches down there. Let's just get a couple torches in here just so we don't get any spawnages. And uh, it looks like... Where is this? Where is this? Oh, this is... Oh my goodness, check at that. That is awesome. So that is actually... Um, this is the lake behind the um, the Nether Portal Temple. So th this is another secret entrance into Mole City via a cave. And it does look like we could actually do some exploring here. There is another cave down here. Check it out. Man, this is a cave that we... Oh. <laughs> Man, this is the face of disappointment. Um, so, but basically, there is a natural entrance again into the Mole City sewage systems. And I just think that is so awesome, man. So let's get back into this new sewage line and lay some TNT. I'm done, oh my. Come on, Paloma. Come with me. But you're going to have to, uh, you're probably going to have to come and sit down over here, though, seriously, because there's some TNT action going on soon. Come and sit right in the middle here. There, that's a good kitty. Now protect, protect the center of the sewers. Affirmative. And uh, let's clear out a line of the soil all the way to the end there. And um, once all of this is cleared out, guys, we are going to be basically um, a few episodes away from completing the main arteries of the Mole City sewerage networks. I think I might just do it off camera because it's quite a lot of work, but I'll, I'll make sure to include a lot of the footage in dog mail number 17, I think we'll do it, and maybe we'll do a little bit more construction in the next video. Just depends, guys. If you guys like seeing the construction um, of the sewer networks, let me know, and I'll just do a couple more videos. If you guys are bored of, of working on the sewers, let me know in the comment section below, and we'll move on, baby. Um, that's how we roll up in the Rendog channel, man. So let's check it out, guys. One, two, three, bam. One, two, three, bam. One, two, three, bam. One, two, three. And that is all of our TNT used. But this is going to be awesome. You guys ready for some explosions? I'm freaking ready for some explosions, man. Let's do this. Bam. Oh, God. Oh, God. I can't see anything. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that, oh, you damn skeleton. He made us miss the freaking Kaplooies and Kaplams, man. That skeleton, that is actually the worst skeleton in ever spawned in Minecraft because he just made us miss skeletons. Paloma, you were the worst god cat ever. You did nothing. Thanks, <laughs> thanks for nothing. Right, let's see if we can actually watch the explosions on this side. Kaplam! Nice. Oh man, that was so awesome. I love freaking TNT in, in Minecraft. It is the best. Um, we have now used up all of our TNT, unfortunately, so um, we're going to have to start saving up on Creeper Poo again. But guys, look at this. This has opened up a giant chavern over here. Um, we'll have to fix this up. And of course, this could become something underneath one of these roads. Maybe like a secret, um, I don't know, like a secret pirate's... Uh, a tavern or something like that you know where pirates come and drink ale and store their loots from the ocean when they come into mole city they they don't go into the main harbor they come via the sewerage networks and come straight here into a pirate tavern or something so that could be pretty sweet but what we what i've got to do now guys is fix all of this up create uh, the same sewerage networks running in this direction and in that direction and man that is going to be quite a butt ton of work so i better get going guys but i hope you have enjoyed this episode man if you have you know what to do you oh <laughs> I've got an arrow in my neck. Um, <laughs> or in my cheek, it looks like it. Damn. But guys, if you enjoyed this episode as much as Paloma and I enjoyed making it, smack that like button. And guys, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the subscribe button. It's easy as one, two, three. Guys, this has been Rendog playing Minecraft Survival. Cannot wait to see you in the next episode when we're going to... I don't even know what we're going to do, man. But I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye, my friends.